Paul. Botany Bay, yes. I discovered Australia, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I did. I did that with Alan Ladd and James Mason. It was my very first film, 1953. And I was hired in New York at the Paramount offices by John Farrow, who was the director of the film, Mia Farrow's father. And a uh, very interesting man, probably should not go into his little quirks, uh, but I was hired and sent out to Hollywood to do this film with Alan Ladd and James Mason. I found it to be a fascinating experience. It all took place on a ship which was on stage 10, I believe, in 10 feet of water. I couldn't believe it. The miracle of Hollywood, you know. I was very impressed with that. I still am with the technique of, of making films. The true geniuses of films are not actors. Oh, no, no, no. We have to merely learn lines that someone else has written. But the technicians in Hollywood, the makeup people and the special effects, they are the true geniuses of our industry. We had a wonderful band named Stu Moody. Uh, who had been a college professor and decided that, that was boring and he wanted to do special effects instead. And he was in charge of all of our explosions, which were wonderful, carefully choreographed by Stu Moody. And I thought they were smashing. Really? I'm still a pushover for effects. I love them. And of course, you know, the miniatures are a thing of great mystery. Tiny little things, perfect in each detail and photographed in front of a black velvet drape with a special camera so that they look huge and real. Ooh, wonderful. I'm childish about that, I love it. <laughs>